Hello all. In previous video, uh, that is in part one, we have seen the basic flow. Now we we are going to look at the technical flow of telecom billing system in detail. Okay. So uh, here in diagram, this is the basic telecom billing flow architecture or whole system architecture diagram. So here is the first one is a customer, right? Then there is a CRM. CRM is a main part that is CRM is nothing but a customer relationship management. It is actually an application or system where customer order is captured. That is all details of customers are saved here with its order details like uh, like which the product or the services they are using. Uh, in short, the CRM is used to create a customer. Okay, so different CRMs are available in market like a Microsoft Dynamics CRM, Zoho CRM, Sybil CRM, Salesforce CRM. So you can also call this CRM as a order management system. Means whatever the orders are want means customer want to place is captured by this CRM and for customer is created. Then there is a next part that is OSS. OSS is nothing but a operation support system as this OSS is used for the activation, deactivation, suspension and termination of a services, right? Means for example, customer want to deactivate the SMS plan. So this order is captured and by this by this domain its execution means actual implementation of means the deactivation of sms plan is done by this oss right so under this oss mainly there are two parts that is provisioning system and network inventory system so first part is a provisioning system provisioning system means what it takes the order or command from the crm right and according to the activation deactivation termination or a suspension which is requested by customer its provisioning is done by this provisioning system and after su successful provisioning means act actual implementation of that particular request it again send a response to a crm right then the next part of OSS is a network inventory system. So what happens in network system, network inventory system? So a network inventory system is also called as a NIS. It keeps all the network identifiers like uh, identifiers means the unique identifiers by which the particular customer is identified like a phone number, IP address, email address or misdeed are details are stored here in a network inventory system then the next part is a bss that is business support system so what is the function of bss the bss it generates the bill by considering all the services which are used by the customer by considering the rates or the charge sheet which is applicable to that particular service as well as tax to this particular service means according to the order of customer whatever services they are using and as per the plan sheet means charge sheet or the whatever will be the plan the customer is using according to that the bill is generated so in this bss it include the rating engine billing engine and discount Okay, so what is meant by rating engine or what is the task of rating engine? Rating engine is a part of BSS. So it decides the charge or rates for the particular service or particular event. So for example, uh, I made the local call for one minute. So whatever the charge according to the charge sheet for one minute local call is here means is apply applicable by this by or it charged by using this rating engine right so means according to uh, uh, we can say so here you can consider uh, the rating engine is considering a different events or the different services which are used by the customer and according to that means according to the received cdrs from the me mediation system it finalize or it assign the charge so what is mean by the uh, cdr we are going to learn in this particular mediation system so don't worry though this is the next part then the billing engine means what it produces the raw data okay to 
generate a final invoice so final invoice means what which you get as a customer which you get and you have to pay right so all the raw data like customer details or the service retail details it's charge according to the plan this all the raw data produced by this billing engine then that there is a discount means is customer is particular customer is uh, applicable for particular discount for example they have purchased the plan which is having some discount so its adjustment or the calculation of discount is also done over here in the under bss okay then the main important part is a network switches so this all network switches provide the services act an actual service provision provides to the end user is a task of network switches so what happens over here as it provides all the services to a customer or the end user for example you are a customer so the providing all the task or the all the services is a part is the task of network switches so here the generation of usage details that is it is also called as a call detail record that is cdr okay is a means it uh, it it's a task of this particular network switches means generation of a all the details or whatever the services you have used right and this detailed data they provide to the bss uh, so uh, it include network switches include the different elements msc smsc mmsc and ggsm these are the different network elements which comes under this network switches so what is meant by msc msc is nothing but a mobile switching center okay it captures all the voice calls means whatever the voice calls you have made it captures all the details of it then smsc is a short message service short message service center it used to capture all the sms related services means all sms you have used or sent or received all details are stored here in smsc then mmsc is a multimedia message service center it captures all multimedia related event and ggsm is nothing but a gprs gateway service node it captures all the consumed data from the internet is captured by this ggsm right then the next part this network switching are associated with the different parts like a mediation system data warehouse payment gateway and erp in short these all parts the mediation system erp payment gateway and data warehouse are the modules of network switches please keep in mind msc smsc mmsc ggsm are nothing but the network elements and mediation system data warehouse payment gateway and erp are the network are the network modules network switches module these are the modules and above are the network element so what is meant by mediation system here in this mediation system all the cdrs are available cdrs means call detail record means that is usage done by the customer like whatever the call they have created or international call they have made local call std call sms mms they have sent or usage of the internet data any roaming call they have made on net call if they have made any conference call they have done so all this detail record is actually the mediation system collect the cdr from network element in different format like so, so these are the network element msc smsc mmsc ggsm so they they generate the particular service record like msc is generating a call related record smsc generating a sms related record mmsc related to a means whatever multimedia system they have used ggsm it is generating a detail record or file 
which is related to a GPRS service they have used. So all these details are captured by this multimedia system and then this multimedia system by collecting this all CDRs which are sent by this network element, this mediation system convert into a one compatible format and then send it to a billing system as customer we don't understand the all the if they send some uh, very raw raw format bill to us this call is this and you, you are going to charge on this particular point so we want a clear cut bill right so the conversion of raw data or different formats of cdr into one compatible format conversion is the main task of this particular mediation system then the main module of the network switch is a data warehouse so it keeps all the data related to customer which further used to generate the management report so it include the service used by the customer invoice payment how they made any discount or adjustment is done over the uh, any particular service all these detailed records are kept over here in a data warehouse then the payment gateway the payment gateway is a main module where when bill is generated and customer want to pay the bill so customer is going to use a different different way to pay a, bay, pay a bill for example they are using credit cards debit cards any online banking application so managing all this payment related task is done by payment gateway then the last module is a erp erp is nothing but a enterprise resource planning okay so enterprise resource planning means what the billing system interface with this erp and used to post all financial transactions like you know wise payment adjustment means it keeps all revenue related information means if in uh, future we want to uh, see whatever the revenue or what are whatever will be the uh, financial details related to particular customer so this erp will be useful at this particular point so this is uh, this is nothing but the overall system architecture for telecom billing so please comment below on uh, which further point you want uh, means detail explanation i will try my best okay thank you